Give on people the invader, but sign here the invader, the last no people today. Now, people, we're going to talk about how oh, every day, yes, one of the promoters of Sting wanted Alkaline to come to Sting so that they could destroy his career, people, and laugh and move on to the next career to destroy people. No, people. In 2013, Alkaline was booked for Sting. Yes, people, Alkaline was booked for Sting, but for some, that is when Alkaline just bust with one, two, three, and things me love. And then him sing a song name, Ready When You Ready, Land in your face. And then now he sang that song, Gearing Up to Sting. When Alkaline Book for Sting now. When Sting happened now, Alkaline never perform. Now, we do not know or we were not provided with a reason why Alkaline never performed at Sting for 2013. It's just that Sting happened. Move on. Nothing special happened that year. We just move on. Now, 2014 now. When Alkaline went and sing the song about Brother. Everybody get up now and those gearing to shoot off for Alkaline head. True, him sing the song about Brata now. And then but not really everybody you know. Some people just love it. Now the when everybody really geared after him head now is when he sang and they hold them again with him in which he sing one of the head, you know. In which was a song that was said to be geared against Vibes Cartel. No, everybody get up now and pretend like Vibes Cartel can't defend himself. Maybe because Vibes Cartel was in prison. So everybody just jump on with him and I sing a diss track against Alkaline. And then they were have some artists who sing even this track when they have nothing to, that was not on the rhythm. Artists like Rhyme Minister, Dueno, artists like Versatile, we do have a no a career what if an artist people artists like him I was good in after alkaline the man then get up now so now all uh, gauge artists like gauge artists like Tommy Lee getting out the alkaline now now when 2014 thing happened now I think even Gullibop did boss in like one week or two week if Gullibop was good enough to Alkaline, but they got to Sting and it never worked. Alkaline just never went there. Now in the next year now, when Alkaline did an on-stage interview, Winford asked Alkaline why he never went to Sting. Alkaline just told them that he had prior engagement. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Alkaline is a normal, you know. Alkaline is a normal people. Alkaline just never went to Sting. Sting eventually flopped because the year before they used Godibop hype, maintained the, 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 the hype of the show. Then next year, they never really get nobody to maintain the hype of the show. So the show just end up flop. That's what Sting do over the years, you know. Get an artist where at, drain out them energy, throw them one side. Get a next artist where at, drain them energy and throw them one side. Now that Alkaline never do them show, they never got to drain Alkaline energy. Now, years later now, every day you go and the fix and I say, Alkaline destroy the music by never going and sting. Sting should have destroyed a long time. Sting should have been destroyed a long, long time ago. It too late, very sad that it was it was up to Alkaline to destroy that very poor product. Because the, the promoters behind Sting are the one of the worst set of promoters. Leng and every day. Why I don't know. I know people. Mm.